<laughs> amen, amen, amen. And welcome, everybody. All those that are you that are joining us, we want to welcome you to uh, New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Uh, bienvenidos a todos los que nos estén escuchando a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Amen. So praise God. So happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted y todo el tiempo tiene algo para usted. Amen. Usted tiene que recibir. Él hizo lo que va a hacer. Usted tiene que recibir. So he's done what he's going to do. You do your part. Amen. You receive. So praise God. Amen. Amen. Uh, got a message for you today. <laughs> growing, going, and glowing for God. Amen. Amen. Or grow, growing, going, glowing, and going for yeah. Jesus. Oh Amen. Amen. And uh, I told uh, Sister Pat or Pastor Pat last, last night, I says, can you include this song in there for us? <laughs> and we just finished singing now. Uh, praise him just finished singing now. Uh, yeah. This little light of mine. Yeah. What am I going to do with this? Uh -huh. I'm going to let it shine. Amen. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about opening the new year with a bang, with excitement, with enthusiasm, you know, yeah. with passion, with stirring ourselves up. So, you know what? As a child of God, <laughs> wherever you go, you're going to have this beautiful smile on your face and you're going to let this little light shine through you, man. Yeah. You know, when they see you, you know, we're going to be talking about this. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever read. Amen. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever come close to. Amen. You're a child of God. You know God takes nobodies and make them somebodies. Yeah. When you know the truth, it's going to set you free. Amen. You need to get the word in you, and that word of God is the truth. And that word, that truth is going to set you free from all these mindsets, all these traditions, you know, all these things that says, wow, you know, just put those things aside yeah. and press on with the things of God. Yeah. Growing, glowing, and uh, going for God. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Let me read it right to you. Growing, glowing, and going for <laughs> Jesus. Amen. Uh -huh. We're going to grow in him. Wow. On a daily basis, we never get to a point where we arrive, okay? It is a new thing. No, we're growing all, every day, daily, growing and going yes. and glowing for him, amen? amen. So praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you know what, child of God, what you need to do is receive what God has for you. Amen. He's got everything yeah. here, amen? He's amen. got it. his word. It's all we need, amen? Yes. So praise God. Hallelujah. We want to welcome all those of you that are uh, joining us by audio video. Yeah. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Amen. Y todos los que nos están escuchando por audio video, prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. So, I said it all. So, we're going to get ready. So, church, say it like you mean it. Amen. Amen. Grab your swords. Grab your Bibles. If you don't have one, borrow one. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can I do what it says I can do. do. Today, Today I'll, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Church, we've said it so many times, but you need to know this. We fight a spiritual battle oh, yeah. on a daily basis. You cannot defeat the enemy in the flesh. You got to get in the word. You got to get the word of God in you. Feed yourself. Feed your spirit, man, the word, the word of God. Renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Amen. And when the enemy comes, all these uh, things attacking your mind, you know, you renew your mind with the word of God. So you don't have to fall. Amen. So you know what to do. Amen. So praise God. Press on, child of God. Amen. Amen. Renew your mind and press on with him. Amen. Amen. So this is what we need to do. We cannot defeat the enemy in the flesh. We got to get in the spirit. We got to get in the word. Allow the word to come in us yeah. so that we can, so the word of God can come out of us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Release it. Amen. He says, uh, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of your words that come out of your mouth. Yeah. So we want to speak the word of God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. So growing, glowing, and going for Jesus. Amen. Here we go. So you can write that down. Amen. <laughs> Being fruitful for him. Amen. Go to the next one. This is what we need to do every time. You can write this down. You can just leave it up there for now, Carmen. Yeah. Amen. It says, Lord, give me the ears to hear, the mind to understand, and the heart to believe and obey your word. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to do these things. Ears to hear, mind to understand, and a heart 
to believe and obey your word. Amen. Praise God. Woo, hallelujah. You know, don't come out of here uh, confused and, and say, well, I didn't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it is, is you need to clear your mind yeah. and allow God to come in. Uh -huh. Amen. Clear your mind. Get all the junk out. You know, yeah. I know there's games on and I know there's all these <laughs> other priorities you've got, but put him first. And Lord, this is your time, amen? And we're going to be talking about assembling ourselves together. Amen. And we come together, amen, to encourage one another. Amen. amen. So praise God. I don't need them right now. God put you where you, we've been talking about, God put you where he wants you. So grow, bloom for him, amen? I, I, I read this to you last week. I'm going to read it to you again. It goes like this. It says, God has put you or planted you where you are for a reason. You are there to inspire, to bless, to create a positive influence, to be his imitation. You are there to be his hands, his feet, his mouth, because he can use you to carry out his work, continue to be a blessing. Amen. Amen. So remember, <laughs> the world, people, family has told you, you're a nobody, you know. Mm. But you are somebody. Amen. When you start getting in the word of God and know what the word of God says about you, He's put you on a special mission. Yes. And you are somebody to him. Amen. So you need to get this in you so that you know <laughs> whose you are and who you are in Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. And you can do, he says, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes. Amen. So you can be happy no matter where you are. Whatever the situation is, we've talked about Paul being in, in prison most of his lifetime. Mm -hmm. But still, God used him to write two-thirds of the New Testament. And the, the, the prison never had him. That's right. Amen. He was there, but he didn't have him. Amen. God used him. So God can use you wherever you are. Yes. All we need to do is surrender ourselves to Amen. him. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Yeah. Praise God. No matter what be happening around you, no matter what the circumstances, situations, problems, or cares, hallelujah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Go to the next one, Carmen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. No matter what the day brings, mm. no matter what the weather is outside, says, this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. We've said it, we've said it, we've said it, but you know what? Sometimes we'll be talking about growing one day. The scripture is just going to grow in you, and you're going to have a new meaning to it. It says, I never saw it this way. That's when we're open for the maturing and for the word of God to come in and say, wow, I never saw it like that before. Thank you, Lord, for bringing new revelation to me. Amen, for showing me this. I'm growing spiritually. We need to grow in, in, in his word, in the spirit, all the time, amen. This is the day the Lord has made. I, or we, or whatever translation you use, I, we, let us, some yeah. say, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Never, never, never on there does it say be sad. Let the cares of the world have you. Yeah. No. It says rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord, for a new day to serve you. Yeah. You know? And if you're enthused, excited, <laughs> and, and stirred up, and letting that little shine, light, light shine through you, <laughs> you, you know you're going to walk out with a smile. Yeah. And the enemy, enemy is going to be, be sad. But you know we're here to be God-pleasers, not man-pleasers. Amen. Amen. So, I'm excited. I don't know about you. So, this morning, we're going to be talking about the church, and we're not talking about the physical building. Mm. Okay? Yes, this is composed of whatever, you know, steels, lumber, uh, concrete, what bricks, whatever. No, we're talking about the church composed of living stones, the body of Christ. This is the real church. Us. Talking about us. You know, we got to get rid of these mindsets and know we are the body of Christ. Uh -huh. You know, we got these strong traditions. We got these strong mindsets, you know, that, well, are you a Christian? No, I'm a Catholic. No, I'm a Presbyterian. That's not what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. You don't even know you're a child of God. You don't even know <laughs> that you're part of the body of Christ. Yeah. And we're believing that we're broken up into denominations. Mm -hmm. No. We're brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. So we need to know that we are the church. We're the body of Christ. Yes. Church is a family. 
with God as our Heavenly Father and many brothers and sisters in the Lord. So one head, God, and one body. Yeah. Amen. And we come together in unity and serve Him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Hebrews, go to the next one. Oh, here's another one. Be joyful. Be joy oh. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. I'm going to be joyful no matter what the day brings. Yes. You can go to the next. There we go. We're going to read it in different translations here. But we're talking about we're, we're talking about yep. yeah, Hebrews 10, 20, 24 and 25 says let us yeah. each uh, let's, let's help each other uh -huh. to love others and to do good. Yeah. 25 says let us not stay away from church meetings. Yeah. Some people are doing this all the time. Comfort each other as you see the day of his return coming <coughs> near. Yeah. Amen. Bless you, brother. Go to the next one. That's the New Life Version. Amen. Here's a contemporary English version. It says, we shall keep on encouraging each other to be thoughtful and to do helpful things. Amen. We assemble ourselves. King James says to assemble yourselves together. Amen. Come together. And verse 25 says, some people have gotten out of the habit of meeting for worship. But we must not do that. We should keep on encouraging each other, especially since we know the day of the Lord coming is closer. Amen. Amen. So remember this, church, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening. Amen. Do not forsake. Let's read it from the King James. What the King James says? Hebrews. Turn to Hebrews. Use the word of God. Amen. Hebrews. 10, 24, 25. Amen. Let's go there. All right. Yeah, Pastor's getting there. <laughs> 10, 20, 24, 25 says. Let us consider one another to provoke unto love and not and to good works. Uh -huh. And 25 says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more. And ye are see the day approaching. As you see, as you see the day approaching. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. We are the church, the church, the place where Christ yes. rules as king. And we are... And uh, an obligation to completely be submissive and serve him Amen. and serve one another. Amen. Amen. So this is what he wants us to do. This is what he's telling us to do. Praise the God. church is a body of many parts, mm -hmm. emphasizing both unity and diversity. Being an original, each of us performing different rule, roles with Christ as our head. Yes. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Know this. Amen. We are the body of Christ. One head, one body, amen, mm -hmm. with many, many, many parts. So we don't have to go around and be somebody else. We, we can just be the original God made you to be. Yes. And have nobody say, well, you got to be this way. No, no I'm going to be the way God wants me to yeah. be. And I'm going to do what he gets me to do. Yes. Amen. amen. So praise God. Whew, hallelujah. Keep going, Carmen. And in doing this, he wants us to do what? First Peter 5, 7 says, and he amplified Casting all your care, mm. all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all, on Him. Amen. For He cares about you with deep, deepest affections yes. and watches over you very carefully. Amen. Amen. So as the body of Christ, as we go, cast all your cares on Him. These cares are going to come on you often. Yes. And they're going to come on you often, all day long. Amen. But it says, cast all the cares on me because I care for you. Amen. And I wrote something on the bottom here. I want you to see it. I want you to read it with me. It says, imagine the net of a fisherman being cast into the waters. Once he lets go, what happens next is no longer in his control. There's a certain level of peace in that. God wants you to have the same peace. So as we ask you to cast your cares, anxieties, worries, concerns to him. That is how much he cares and how much he loves you. You know, as a fisherman casts his net into the water, mm -hmm. now you know, 
I'm going to have peace about it. When you cast all your cares on him, don't worry about what's going to happen. Just give it to him. Amen. I've told you this way. <laughs> when you take your trash, when you give them all your trash mm. and take it to the dumpster, yeah. you don't go back and get it. No. You just know he's going to take it mm -hmm. and leave it there. Don't go back and say, well, he forgot. <laughs> or maybe he didn't do a real good job, you know, so he needs help. No, because you're going to take the care back. Yeah. And we're not to care. take the care. Amen. When the fisherman yeah. casts his net, y'all got peace. And it's going to do what it's meant to do. Yeah. Amen. So we got to have that peace in us. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And the next one, Carmen, says, Philippians 4, 6, says what? Well, don't be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue to make your request known to God. Mm -hmm. And he says, specific. Yeah. So whatever that specific concerns you, mm -hmm. you take it to him. Amen. But he says, make it a request known to God. So praise yeah. God. And uh, I know some of you know, but uh, I put a scripture break on the, uh, on the on the Facebook. And I want to read you one that I put, put on there about letting go and letting God. And this is what casting your cares on him means. You know, if you're going to cast your cares on him, let it go mm -hmm. and let God. Amen. So it goes like this. Let go and let God. Some days... You're too concerned about many things. We are reminded of Martha running around in her busyness, frustrated, disappointed, complaining, and grumbling about what others have left her to do. Mm. Why do we, uh, why not be like Mary and let go of the cares, the concerns, the frustrations, the disappointments, and the complaints, and just sit at the feet of Jesus, mm -hmm. casting all these things on him? Mm -hmm. We can learn a lot from Mary. Yes. Jesus joins us every service, mm -hmm. you know, and he's here. But he's also with you every day yeah. as you start a new day. And yeah. what you got to do is when you meet with him, you just cast, cast all these things on him. Empty yourself and just give it all to him and just say, thank you, Lord, for this new day. Amen. Thank you. My first miracle is I woke up this morning. Thank you mm -hmm. for waking me up. Amen. Now you're giving all these things, you know, and leave them there. And don't take the worries and don't take the compliance. Then, you know, if you don't do this, real soon your priorities will just come on you, bombard you, you know, about what you haven't done. And you're behind on this, you're behind on that. And next thing you know, it's just got a headache. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the best thing you do is just spend time with him and give it to him and say yeah. thank you. Amen. Woo. God is good all the time. Amen. The time. So praise God. Oh, so who are we? We're going to the church. We're growing and going for him. Being fruitful. Sowing, planting, sharing his word. You are blessed to be a blessing. Let's go to Mark 16 and see what he tells us to do. Amen. We are the church. <laughs> what does the church do? Well, let's go to Mark 16. And we all know this, but that's okay. Basic instruction before leaving earth. That's the Bible. <laughs> Matthew 16. Let's read 15 through 20. Verse 15 says, And he said unto them, mm -hmm. Us, the church. Mm -hmm. He told his disciples. That's us. We're the church. Go into all the world. Go, it says, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. You know, a creature here is a people. Mm -hmm. When you talk about people, you're talking about uh, men, women, boys, girls. <laughs> to every creature. And verse 16 says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Mm -hmm. 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. Mm -hmm. They speak, they shall speak with new tongues. Mm -hmm. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then, after the Lord has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and set at the right hand of God. And verse 20. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming their word and with signs following. Amen. Amen. So you know what? He says he never leaves you nor forsake you. Right. He goes with you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. So they did. They obeyed what he said for them to go do. 
So we as church, we're still here. <laughs> we're going and go. We're growing, glowing, and going for God, mm -hmm. for Jesus. Amen. So that's what He wants us to do. That's the church. That's us, the body, the body of Christ. Hallelujah! I want you to grab that. <laughs> Praise God. I'm going to read you uh, another one. It's First Peter two one and two, one through ten, and I'm going to read it to you from this translation. But He says, "Live as." A God live as God's chosen people. Yes. You need to know that God has chosen you. And you can follow along, but I'm going to read it to you from this. It's 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. It says, So then, stop doing anything to hurt others. Don't lie anymore. And stop trying to fool people. Don't be jealous or sad. Say, uh, say sad things about others. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, and this is familiar. We've got it, and a few, I'll show it to you in a minute. It says, like newborn babes hungry for milk, mm -hmm. you should want the pure teachings of the word that feed your spirit. With it, you can grow up and be saved. Amen. Just like children, you know, wanting that milk of the word. Amen. The pure teaching of the word. Verse 3, you have already tasted the goodness of God. And verse Verse 4, the Lord Jesus is the living stone. The people of the world decided that they did not want this stone. But he is the one God chose as the one great value. So come to him. Verse 5, you also are the living stones. You are, this is what he says, you are the living stones. And God is using you to build a spiritual house. So we are helping build his house. Amen. Amen. You are to serve God in this house as holy priests, uh, offering him uh, spiritual sacrifices that he will uh, accept because of Jesus Christ. The scripture says, look, I have chosen a corner, cornerstone, a great value, and I have put that stone in Zion. Anyone who trusts in him will never be disappointed so that the stone brings honor for you to believe. But those who do not believe, he is the stone that the builders uh, refused to accept. They rejected him, which became the most important stone. For them, he is also a stone that makes people stumble, a rock that makes people fall. People fall, stumble because they don't obey what God says. This is what God plans, planned to happen to those people. And verse 8. But you are his chosen generation. He says he calls you a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a priesthood, a holy nation, special chosen people mm. who belong to God. He chose you to tell you about the wonderful things he has done. He brought you out of darkness of sin into the wonderful light. This little light, I'm going to let it shine. He brought you out of darkness into this wonderful light. In the past, you were not a special people, but now you are God's people. Once yeah. you had not received mercy, but now God has given you his mercy. Amen. You are a holy nation, a royal priesthood. Amen. A God's chosen people. Amen. This is the way you need to see yourself. Amen. Forget about who said what. You know, we're always believing somebody says, so-and-so said. We believe that more than anything. Mm -hmm. You know, even if family said it, even if so-and-so said it, what does the Bible say? Mm -hmm. You go by what the Bible says. He said, you are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You're God's special chosen people. Yeah. That's the way you see yourself. When somebody tries to put you down, don't let them. Mm -hmm. Amen? Just yeah. smile. <laughs> and say, that's not what the word of God says about me. I know what the word of God says about yeah. me. Amen. So I'm going to let my, this little light of mine shine. Amen. Mm -hmm. No matter what. <laughs> Even if it's raining outside, snowing outside, dark outside, it don't matter. 24-7, mm -hmm. this little light is going to shine. Amen. Yeah. Continue to grow, mature in him. Growing is a progress, an ongoing thing. As Christians, we must continue to grow in him. Growing, growing, growing. Never Getting to a point where we know it all. 
Mm. You know, never call yourself a failure anymore. Just call yourself a learner. Mm. I'm learning the things of God. I'm learning yeah. about God. I'm learning about myself. I'm learning what God is teaching me. So you're a learner and not a failure. Growing, to mature, to, to, to develop, to spring up, to increase, to become greater and larger, to expand. Yes. <laughs> we need to expand in this, in this, in this word. Mm -hmm. Know his word. Read it. Get it in you so it can yeah. come out. You know, when you come and you sit <laughs> uh, on church meetings, <laughs> whoever's ministering, mm. just be like a little sponge. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what yes. those sponges do. They just yeah. soak it up. Yeah. That's what we need to do. We need to be hungry for the word. We need to be hungry for him. And just be like a sponge and just soak it up. I want, yeah. you know. Hey, if you don't want it, I'll take it. Mm. Whatever God has given out, mm -hmm. I want it. Mm. People just refuse it. Mm. Just push it away. People walk away. He said even in the last days, some of the elite mm -hmm. are going to walk away from it. Yeah. Don't be one of them. You say, hey, you know, I just want, I just want to, everything. If you don't want it, I'll take all your leftovers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Praise Second God. Peter. Go to the next one, Colonel. Second Peter. Okay, well, we missed that one, but uh, we'll read it in a minute. Keep, pass that one. Next one. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Second Peter 2 2, <laughs> like newborn babes, you must crave pure milk. <laughs> spiritual milk so that you will grow into full experience of salvation cry out for the for this nourishment mm -hmm. it says this newborn babes inside the sincere milk of the word that you might grow thereby unto salvation first peter 2 2 just like you see what the little boy is reading there the little baby's reading <laughs> it says holy bible he's got his bible open we need to do the same thing those words are not going to jump out at you <laughs> You're going to open it up and read it so it can get in you. Amen. And you know, if you're by yourself, it's okay for you to just read it uh, for you for you to hear. So it can go in your ears. Amen. Amen. And that's good. It goes in and you're getting double. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Like newborn babes, you know. But even our Babies don't stay babies. They That's grow. Right. <laughs> they grow. They grow. <laughs> and if we're not teaching them, the Bible says to train children the way they should go. We're, as yeah. parents, supposed to nourish them and teach them so they know the word, so that they know how to grow and what to do. Amen. So we need to, as babies, we start as baby Christians. Amen. Amen. But we need to continue to grow mm -hmm. in the word. Amen. And not just reach a spot, you know, where you say, well, I'm just happy right here, you know, and I don't mm -hmm. want any more. No. Well, if you're not hungry for, if you're not hungry for him, if you don't hunger for him, if you're not hungry for him, you're going to just stay by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Or if you're following the wrong crowd, they're just going to pull you away. Mm -hmm. The enemy's going to see to it, the world's going to see to it, that all these distractions just come around you. Yeah. you got to make sure that yeah. you say, I need to spend yeah. time with the Father yeah. God. I need to spend time, and I need to get spend time in the Word, and and grow, and glow for Him. You know, if you're not growing, you're not glowing. Mm. <laughs> and if you're not glowing, you ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta grow, and as you grow, you'll glow. And that little that little light's gonna shine. Mm -hmm. And 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 as the light shines, you know, and you're stirred up. When you get you you know you can only take so much of this Word, <laughs> and you're gonna flow overflow. But the Bible says, out of that overflow, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living, living water. So that word is ready. He said, when yeah. you're overflowing, you need to be around somebody uh -huh. because somebody's going to get some blessings. Yeah. Amen. Somebody's going to get the, the word. Amen. Totally and that's right. what we need to do. So don't say, well, I can't do this. Mm. Yeah, well, that's not what the Bible says. That's it's, right. not, it's not scriptural. Mm. <laughs> it says you can do all things all through Christ things. who Amen. strengthens you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> so we need to take the sincere, the, the desire, the sincere milk of the word. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> go back to the other one. Come, can you go back one? Here we go. Psalms, we didn't read this one. <laughs> Psalm 1, verses 1 through 3 says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stands in the way of the sinners mm -hmm. or sits 
at the seat of Marcus, mm -hmm. but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night. He's talking about the word, day and night. He is like a tree. That's what we need to be. Be planted. Be uh, yes. fruitful wherever he plants you. Yes. He says, just like a tree is planted by the streams of water, mm -hmm. which yields its fruit in season, mm -hmm. and whose leaf does not wither. Mm -hmm. Whatever he does prospers. Prosper. Amen. You know what? Amen. Wherever he plants you, just thank him for it. Mm -hmm. Grow, bloom. Yes. For him. Amen. Amen. And you do when you do it under him, you're not concerned about your surroundings or what you don't have or the circumstances around you. Uh -huh. Amen. You're just gonna be successful. Amen. And you're gonna be uh, fruitful and you're gonna multiply. Amen. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> keep keep going, brother. One more. There we go. Ooh, hallelujah. Me. Ephesians. This is Jesus. So you can turn your book there. Or turn yeah. to, turn to uh, yeah. Ephesians. Okay, let's see what the King James says. Ephesians chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about, some of you have heard this before, but he talks about uh, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher, or the gifts that God has given the church, or some say the fivefold ministry. Amen. Anyway, Ephesians four, um, chapter four, eleven, uh, chapter four, verse eleven, and this is what it says. And he, Jesus, talking about Jesus, and Jesus gave some what gifts, apostles some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and some teachers. And 12 says, for the perfecting of the saints, or believers, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. And 13 says, until we come in unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Mm -hmm. And verse 14 that we have for be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the say of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to uh, deceivers. Amen. So we want to be rooted and grounded in the things of God. Amen. We want to learn the word. Get the word yeah. in so that we're not so that we have a foundation of the word so we're not tossed to and fro. Mm -hmm. This one here says, says, so Christ himself gave. So we need to know who gave these gifts. Mm -hmm. It says Christ, Jesus himself gave the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, the teacher to equip his people for the work of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and became mature and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants tossed mm -hmm. to uh, tossed back and forth mm -hmm. by the wave and blown here and there mm -hmm. by every wind of doc or teaching mm -hmm. and by the cunning of the mm -hmm. craftiness of people in their <laughs> deceitful, deceitful scheming <laughs> instead speaking the truth and love uh -huh. we will grow to become in, become in every respect the mature body of him joint and held together by every supporting ligament growth and built itself up in love as each part does its work amen sometimes I just want to get it into plain English so that you can understand <laughs> Understand it a little better, you know. The uh, the King James t talks a little different, amen. And that's good for those that are you that are more mature in the word. But I like to read it like this, amen. I mean, it's down to earth, I can understand that, amen. So, God has brought His body, we are the body of Christ. We need to we know we need to understand this that who you are. So, we to be more like Jesus, and we're to grow in and going. For him. Amen? Amen. So you are the Bible. So I told you this a little earlier, but you are the only Bible some people will ever read or come close to. 
We're his ministers of reconciliation. St. Francis 5, 17 says that you're new creatures in Christ. The old is gone, the new is in. And now we're his ministers of reconciliation. We're his ambassadors. We're his mouthpiece on earth. If he's the head and we're the body, who is going to use? Mm -hmm. He's going to use his body, us, the church. We're going somewhere to happen and be a blessing mm -hmm. for somebody. Amen? Mm -hmm. So praise God. Jesus, the only way to the Father. Some of these things, basic, but we need to get into the basic things. Yes. Jesus, the only way to the Father. Some people don't even know this. Mm -hmm. John 14, 6 says, Jesus says he is the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. And no one goes to the Father except through Mm -hmm. Him. He That's is the right. door <laughs> yes. to heaven. Yes. Amen. There's no other way. That's right. You can't earn your way. That's you can't right. pay your way. Uh -huh. You can't have somebody say it for you or do it for you. That's you right. got to confess it with your mouth. Amen. Confess Him as Lord and Savior. Amen. Receive Him as, as your Lord and Savior. And then He says, get your priorities straight. Seek Him first. Matthew 6 33 says what? Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. But we got to seek him first. Uh -huh. Amen. So, church, <laughs> that's what we're doing. Amen. It's a new year, a new day, yes. and we need to set our priorities right Amen. on a daily basis. Him first. Mm -hmm. Amen. Imitate, well, stay connected. How do we stay connected? Well, he tells us in John 15, 5, <laughs> he is the vine, we are the branches. Yes. And the branch ain't going to grow without the vine. That's right. So if we want to grow uh -huh. in him, if we want to grow, we need to stay connected. Uh -huh. So you stay connected with the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you get in the word and you study the word. Mm -hmm. And we're growing and glowing and going for him. <laughs> in Ephesians, uh, it, it, now this is, uh, I've got both translations here, but if you turn to Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. Uh, Ephesians, back to Ephesians. Chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Um, this is what King James says. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Mm -hmm. And verse 2 says, And walk in love, mm -hmm. as Christ also walked, has loved us and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. Yes. Okay? This is what the Amplified says. The Amplified says, therefore be imitators uh -huh. of God. Copy him. Follow his follow his example as will beloved children imitate their father. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, and walk in love, esteeming and delighting one another mm -hmm. as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a slain offering, a sacrifice to God for you so that it become a sweet fragrance. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So the Amplified says to be imitators Amen. of him. Amen. And it says to copy him, follow his example. And he's given us examples all from the time he came to the time he left. Amen. He gave us examples of Amen. what to do. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> So, and pray daily. And uh, here's one example he gave us. If you turn to Matthew 6, chapter 6. Who? Hallelujah. Man, we're in the Word, man. Amen. <laughs> That's all right. We use the Bible here. We teach from the Bible. <laughs> pray daily. And the disciple says, how do we pray? Who do we pray? <laughs> so he's he, he, he says, this is how you pray. We may have turned to Matthew chapter 6, and we start at verse 9 through 13. Also, it does the same thing in uh, Luke uh, 11, verses 2 through 4. But we're going to read out Matthew. Verse 9 says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, says our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And verse 14, uh, 13, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 So we are to imitate him, teaching us, and we're to pray. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord.
growing up in him, having a relationship. Verse 14, uh, Ephesians 14 says, then we will go no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed to and blown about by every wind of doctrine or teaching. Mm -hmm. We will not be influenced uh, when uh, people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth, you know? Mm -hmm. And this is on a daily basis, you know, when yeah. you got the foundation, when you got the word in you, the enemy's not going to use people to try to influence you in the wrong right. way. Because when you hear what they have to say mm -hmm. and you know what the word of God says, <laughs> you just go with what the word of God says. What they said is not scriptural. Mm -hmm. It sounds real good. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it might convince just about everybody, but it's not going to convince me because I know what the word of God said. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the enemy uh, went and tried to trick Jesus. Yeah. When Jesus had been fasting, and he mm -hmm. went and tried to he even try to quote the word, <laughs> and Jesus set him in his place. And that's what we need to do yeah. also. Mm -hmm. We need to yeah. know the word, so we use the word to say, you know what, it sounds good, but no thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And he told him, depart from me and go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get away. Ephesians 4.15 says, instead of... We will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of the body, the, the church, us. So never stop growing. Sometimes we go through some valleys, some dry places, but the Bible says in Psalms 23 and 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow and death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because you are with me, and thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yes. Amen. In uh, Isaiah 30 and 41, he says, but those that wait upon the Lord Amen. shall renew their strength. Amen. Amen. Well, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to wait on the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Mm -hmm. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Praise God. It's good. The word is good. Yes, it is. Amen. We just got to get the word in us. Amen. Amen. When you get it in us, it's going to come out. Yeah. And when it comes back, when it wants to come out, don't hold it back. That's right. You know I mean, because sometimes uh, fear grabs you, but oh, He's yeah. not giving us a, a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. So just just say, I'm going to speak it out, release yeah. it. You know, and sometimes we surprise ourselves because we say, Wow, I can't believe that came out of me. I can't believe I said it that way. <laughs> I was going to say it a different way, but it came out a different way. Yeah. Sometimes I study this way. But God wants me to say it this way. Yeah. And it came out this way. So I wanted to come out the way he wants it to come out. Because his way is the right way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. And it's going to bless you. So praise God. Yeah. Acts 13, uh, 313 says, Repent therefore and be uh, covered. That your sins may be blotted out. So that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. You know you need refreshing. You go to him. Lord, I need you. Thank you for your blessings, but I need a refreshing, amen? amen? And he knows, and you can go to him at any time, you know, just take time. We have to make time to go to him and just say, I need a touch of God. I need a touch from you, Lord. Uh, I read a sign this morning uh, as I was leaving the house. <laughs> I've got a, a, a sign, or a, a bumper sticker on my, my truck that says, uh, it's hell without God. <laughs> we need to remember this. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's hell out there without God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if you ain't got God, if you don't have him, it is going to be hell. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we need to get the word in us so that the world is not like hell to us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So be strong in him. Ephesians 6, 10 and 12 says this. Finally, my brethren, be strong in who? In the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God Amen. that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You can't defeat it in the flesh because mm -hmm. you don't fight flesh and blood. Right. You fight against the walls of the devil. But we wrestle against not against flesh and blood but against principalities, yeah. against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in mm -hmm. higher places. Amen. Yeah. So you know what? The enemy has ranks too. <laughs> oh yeah. And you know, as you climb in the mature in the word, there's different levels of devils. <clears throat> but you gotta 
-hmm. You're going to be strong enough because his word is sufficient mm -hmm. no matter what he throws your way. Amen. Amen. So you want, we want to be growing in him and going in him. <clears throat> Praise God. I'm going to read you this and then we can close here. Yeah. Growing in grace, 2 Peter 3 and 18 says, But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory but, uh, both now and forever. We're going to keep growing in his knowledge. We're going to keep growing in grace. Never stop growing. Always growing, glowing, and going for Jesus. Amen. Amen. And we can, we can do this, church. You know, just remember, he says we can do all things through Christ who yes. strengthens us. Amen. Amen. If we're going to believe in his word, then we're going to step out in faith. And we're going to step out in the authority he's given us. Amen. Amen. So keep on your armor. <laughs> Keep on your armor and press on with him. Amen. Yeah. So you're never by yourself. Never get right. to the point where the enemy isolates you and says, well, you know, you're doing all this by yourself. And you're no threat to me. Oh, yes, I am. When you know, when you know your rights, when you know your authority like David, mm -hmm. <laughs> he stepped out and faced his giant. As a matter of fact, the Bible says David ran to meet his giant. Mm -hmm. So we can run because we know the greater one is in us. We can run yeah. and meet our giants on a daily basis. Whatever those giants happen to be to your, your giants may be different than mine. But still, the greater one is in us. Amen. And he goes with us. He's always with us. And the Bible says we can do all things through him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. We'll close it there. And uh, Father, we just want to thank you for your word. Help us to grow. Help, help us to have a hunger and a thirst for more of you. Yes. Thank to get it. Be little, be little sponges to soak up the milk of the word, to soak up the word, Father God, and grow and go and for Jesus. Amen. So praise God. Those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, if you never accepted Christ, now's the time. You know, quit putting it off. His time is coming. He's coming. And he's coming for his church. Amen. So yeah. just say this, Father, I sin against you. I repent. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. If you pray that, I believe. That you're born again. Yes. Amen. Amen. And all you need to do is get yourself into a church where you can learn the word of God. And uh, have a church family where you can be encouraged, built up, and where you can go and glow for him. Amen. Amen. But get you a Bible and start reading for yourself what the word of God says. Amen. So you will not be tossed to and from, you know, by every wind of doctrine Amen. that's out there. Amen. So there's no new thing. The Bible is the word of God and that's all you need. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.